Hey everyone, Ted Keith here with Stephen Cannell. We're five weeks away from the Major League Trade deadline and already we're hearing some pretty big names being talked about as guys who could move at the deadline. Specifically right now, starting pitchers are top of mind for a lot of GMs. And Steve, the two biggest names I think people are hearing so far, Jeff Samarge of the Cubs and of course David Price for the Rays, who mm -hmm. feels like he's been on the market forever. If you could have one of those two guys, who do you want? If I had to pick one right now, I think it's hard to pick against David Price. Uh, the guy is just pitching absolutely lights out right now. He got off kind of a slow start this season. He's been on a strikeout tear. He's leading the American League. He has 133 strikeouts. His strikeout to walk ratio right now is 10.3. If he keeps that up now, granted, keeping that up for a full season is going to be tough. If he keeps that up, it's going to be the best in Major League history. He's really pitching with great power, great command, great control right now. If the Rays do decide to make him available, which I think they should, it's pretty clear they've fallen out of the race. They're 12 and a half games back in the AL East. They're not going to make up that kind of ground. Well, I think Jeff Samarja could be a good get for teams mm -hmm. only because you think they'd be able to get him for a lot less than they could David Price. I mean, Price is one of those guys who has a lot of time left on his contract, in his prime, very accomplished, a Cy Young winner, like you said. Samarja's never been an all-star. His career record is under 500. This is really only the second year he's going to be a starter who makes, it looks like, at least 30 starts. So he shouldn't command that much on the open market. Uh, and, it, and for all these teams out there who look like they're going to be in contention, the Cubs, of course, being one of the few that we know are out of it, look like that could be a guy they might want to go after. So maybe a team can reel him in for something less than what we've seen. But the early reports are that the Cubs are asking for quite a bit for right. him. And you can understand why from their perspective. Uh, there is one other guy, at least, who's not on the market yet, but is another one of those accomplished young pitchers, would presumably bring back a haul, but we haven't heard much about him right now, Cole Hamels. Mm -hmm. Should the Phillies be trading him right now? And if they do, what kind of return should they get? The Phillies probably should have traded him last year. I think they're a team that's in really severe rebuilding mode. They're, they should be. They haven't quite pulled the trigger on that yet. They need to overhaul that roster. They need to get a lot younger uh, a lot and a lot cheaper as soon as they possibly can. If I were the Phillies, I would absolutely put him out on the market, and I think they would command at least as much return for Hamels that the Rays think they can get for Price and the Cubs think they can get for Samarja. And I think where teams can get themselves in a, lot, a little bit of trouble here is they figure, hey, we don't have to trade these guys. David Price isn't going to be a free agent for another year and a half. Jeff Samarja is not going to be a free agent for another year and a half. Teams think we're in the driver's seat. We're going to hold out for as much as we can possibly get, and I think they end up costing themselves some deals. You don't know what's going to happen with pitchers. David Price, Samara, Jeff Hamels, any of these guys could get hurt tomorrow. I think it's time. the time is now for these teams to pull the trigger. I think in three cases, the three quality pitchers should be on the market come July 31st. Could be very interesting to find out. And one other thing to keep in mind, a lot of times we hear about these teams making moves and we hear about prospects and how valuable they are coming back. It doesn't always pan out that way. Matt Laporta, a part of the CC Sabathia trade, hasn't been in the majors in two years. Uh, Justin Smoke, the big part of one of those Cliff mm -hmm. Lee trades. 1.7 career war for the Seattle Mariners since the deal, and Kyle Drabeck, who was a big part of the deal, uh, as well to get Roy Halladay. He hasn't been in major leagues for two years either. So sometimes right. it's about holding on to major league quality talent as opposed to worrying about prospects. One of the many things will be worth paying attention to in the next five weeks heading into the major league trade deadline. For Steve Canella, I'm Ted Keith.